Okay guys, hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial of the series and today I want to go over lighting. So first of all I'm just going to open a test map, well map that I made previously to help make you understand about lighting. So as you'll see I've just got a basic area a box and I've got a chain static mesh which I'll show you how to add in the next tutorial I think. So let's I'm just gonna first of all I'm gonna talk to you about the different types of lighting. So if we open up the content browser, control shift F or press the little button down there. So let's go to lights and then point lights. So I'm just gonna talk to you about the basic four that you'll only ever need. Let's just drag a normal point light in there. It's just a normal point light, it's just a source of light there there isn't much you can do with it so I'm just gonna leave that there for a second. But as you'll see like the lights are not dynamic. Wait you can just go put it into the shade quickly just so you can see better. Let's put it there. And then grab our point light. And as you see as I move around it you'll get a little shadow you can increase the brightness of it the reason why you why you've got another light source because this one it comes with the t uh, default template maps not the blank map though so you might want to just delete that that's a directional point light so okay, every time you want every time you do something with lighting you want to click build lighting up at the top and then choose the quality of the lighting first one I choose uh, production and use light mass you don't need to use light mass every time you do it as it will increase the time by quite a fair bit of rendering lighting so uncheck that and press OK you only need to use light mass when you're actually about to release the project uh, you'll only need to do it once. It doesn't really change it much. It, light mass is just uh, global lighting, for example. Okay. As you'll see, now just a slight part of the room is illuminated. And if you move it around, you will see that this, the ground hasn't been, has gone a bit weird. So to fix that, just build lighting, or you just go to unlit mode for the time being when you're developing it. So that's just the basic point light. Let's delete that. Now let's get a point light movable. Point light movables can be moved around in Kismet, and you can tell they're movable ones by the little edge around it here. So that's really all you know how to do. It. You can move both the Kismet and Matini and then we've got point light toggleables all the, these uh, these you can turn on and off using kismet to make nice good effects just going to delete that and the other the only other one you're going to need is directional light directional lights which are used for outside because they will so let's say you have it somewhere near towards your sun or the main light source on the map as you see I've got, I'm in the night lighting template at the moment there isn't really one so I won't need one just to give it that dark unilluminated feel so yeah as you'll see this little arrow below will show you the direction that it's pointing in so let's just move it over here and just point it towards this way and the arrow will move Uncheck use light mass and it's going to build again. And then now you've accepted that, you will see that the light is pointing towards this way no matter where it is placed it will be pointing down that way as you'll see this side is still lighted 
so now we've done that let's delete that also with directional lights you can move them because there is a directional light mo toggleable and movable so yep the same thing applies so let's get another plot point, mine, point light and I'm going to go through some of the settings for them okay so let's go to right click point light properties and then you can change the brightness here so let's say I want it to 50 and it's going to be really really bright and you can't see much at all it's gonna press use light uh, uncheck use light mass and rebuild and I'll show you what I mean you probably won't need to have your lighting up to like 50 at all okay sorry about that and you'll see it's really bright and you'll see the re the bright reflections in like the form of a sun shaft around objects that have been affected by the light so I'm just gonna increase the size of that quickly now we got that I'm just going to put that back down to one just to help you see also you can change the light color so let's give it a nice Hmm, a blue. Let's say if you're under, if you're in some underwater place, and then build. Use, uncheck use light mass. You can do a lot of things with uh, lighting. So you'll see. And then close, and now you've got a nice blue area. Also, let's say you're working with a fractured static mesh, you might want to uh, got to expand the lighting channels tab by clicking that, go down, and you want to change it to dynamic, and, th and then it will, it, like the object will adjust as you m use them. So that's pretty much the also you can set collisions to them, block all, block weapons, you can probably guess what those are but you don't really need that and can step on, you don't want them to be able to step on that simple developer error and then you get people jumping around getting outside the map and you may want to turn on light shafts as well and there we go, you got light shafts coming from it green ones at that and then you go in Wait, sorry you're not going to see that until I build lighting and then close and you got these little like rays coming out of it so let's say I go here well yeah there you go somewhere between the you just gotta block the way of the light and you'll get a light shaft at the side as you can probably see there we go and you can change the bloom tint so let's say I want a a red well, oh, not really, sorry. And you'll see it has gone orange. The little rays that will come out at you. So that's about all you really needed to know. Uh, have fun. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Don't, if, if you get stuck, just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks, goodbye, and don't forget to check out my website www.extremetechnology.co.uk. Goodbye.